Hi, I'm Bob Allison, WB1 GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory in Newington, Connecticut. In this review, I'm going to show you four antenna analyzers. Here's the MFJ Model 266 antenna analyzer. Covers roughly 1.5 to 490 megahertz and several different bands. This is the power button, this is the tune control. Select the frequency bands HF, VHF, UHF here, and the different frequency ranges over here. Let's turn it on. Uh, right off the bat, you'll see a, a battery indicator. We have 12.3 volts. Um, that's a good thing if you're up on top of the tower, you don't want a dead battery. And let's select it as an antenna analyzer. And we'll just press this button here. And this says band A, that corresponds to over here, 1.5 to 2.7. Let's check out six meters. That should be band F. So I'll use the up button. We'll look at the letter B, C, D, E, and F. And right now, I'm looking at 50.4 megahertz, roughly, at this drop down a bit. And you can adjust it with your tune control here. And we have roughly a 1.5, 1 1.6 to 1 SWR, and 64 ohms impedance with a J23 reactive. That's a little bit inductive. Overall, it's a nice sturdy metal case and typical MFJ quality. Here's the ruggedly built Comet CAA500. It does SWR and it does impedance here. So if your antenna has a 1 to 1 SWR, should be around 50 ohms. It doesn't do complex impedances like some other antenna analyzers uh, do, but for the most part what you want is the minimum SWR. Now let's turn it on. Here's your power switch. This is your knob for your frequency bands at different settings. This covers 1.8 to 162 megahertz. It has a fast speed, I turn that button on, or a slow tuning speed. We'll go on the slow one, and right now, or again, we're on the, the 50.4 megahertz. It's reading about what the other MFJ uh, analyzer does, and I can adjust the, the tuning knob. But see, it dips down, it has a resonance of about 51.4, and let's see, it dips again, and again, and again. Wow, it's, this antenna's going all the way up to, about 60 megahertz or more. Now uh, on top here we have an end connector. This is for the extended range which is 300 to 500 megahertz and uh, what I like here is this little hole. This is where you can attach a lanyard so you can attach it to your utility belt when you're on top of the tower. Now here's the Rig Expert AA54. The manual says it covers 0.1 to 54 megahertz. I found that it works best between 1.5 and 54 megahertz. It has a plastic case, a UHF connector at the top, and a very nice menu. Here's the power button down here. Let's fire it up, hold it down for a second, and up it comes. Here's your main menu, and I'm going to first set the frequency. So I'll hit number two and it's set for 52 megahertz. Let's take a look at that six meter antenna on the roof of HQ. I'll say that's okay by pressing the check mark. Okay, and now I'll pick up, I'll pick what I want to see. Let's look at the SWR. I'll hit seven, and then I'll hit the check mark. Okay, again, and there it is, 1.5 to one. Now this also does complex impedances as well, and this is a blast to operate. What I like best about this is that its output is very, very, very stable because it actually does generate RF. And uh, you could actually put this on an antenna, and it would be a stable RF generator, and uh, it doesn't drift around, so you get very good, precise readings with this. This little small box is in fact an antenna analyzer. It's the UKITS FG01. Covers 1 to 60 megahertz. Has a B and C connector on the top, little charging jack here. And the display is a one inch square LCD display. Uh, we have the battery voltage, 12.2 volts. We have a graph up here of impedance and the lower graph of SWR. I've chosen, again, 52 megahertz for the six meter antenna on the roof of headquarters building. And I've, I've chosen a scan width of five megahertz. And across here, this is a little bit below 50, this is above 54, it is fairly flat with only going above 1.5 to one at certain times. So the antenna looks very healthy at this end of the coax. Um, it's a nice lightweight design. You can almost fit it in your shirt pocket and it's very easy to use. And 
if the SWR exceeds 3 to 1, these little digits light up red. Well, I hope you like seeing those antenna analyzers. I thought they were pretty interesting. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, at the ARR Laboratory and in our museum.